Uh, good afternoon, everybody. This is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It is Friday, July 31st. And, wow, I like to watch paint dry like the next guy, but, wow. <laughs> Talk about a sideways consolidation. So, after a pretty good size sell-off and then a run-up in the markets to this resistance area that we defined this morning, uh, right in here, this exact line, uh, we sold all the way back off, made lower swing low, lower swing high, higher swing low, nice little consolidation we saw around noon, and it just kind of spit out the other end. Big move back up into this resistance here at 99.40, sell off at a higher swing low, and then another equal swing high at this resistance area. And then we held up right here at our previous support line, and if I look at the pre and post market data here, kind of make sure that nothing dramatic has happened after the close. Yeah, it sort of just trickled south a little bit. So pretty good, nice high consolidation we've got going on here. Just beautiful. After a run-up, unfilled gap, tested only one time at the rising 50 MA on a 15-minute chart. 60-minute chart looks even tastier. And really what's happening is after a nice consolidation like this and a big run-up, although not easy to capitalize on, especially in the round number of 100, we are seeing a hold-up now at this area. So if we can do this all over again and break 100, again, we're looking at the next logical spot of resistance being in this area through here, 104.66 area and then 107.25 unfilled gap. Daily uh, Weekly chart, three nice bars up in a row, right at this resistance area in the $100 mark, and uh, we had talked about that before, uh, but pretty strong, good, at, good market action to the upside. So very good. Just wanted to point that out and uh, zoom back intraday. Look at the tick. Spent most of the day above zero, which is pretty impressive until the last little bit. Uh, the trends were at a sort of a level 1.5, and then they kind of tapered off here in a pretty volatile move. Uh, but 1.5 is a little bit more bearish than bullish. Trend Q rose after our uh, noon video from the 110 area up into the 1.5 area, so they kind of got back in line there. So I would say that there's more bullish sentiment, or bearish sentiment, and uh, this is pretty dramatic, actually. So a huge, big move on the VIX. So the volatility index went through the roof. That's definitely something to note. So even though we've held up uh, price-wise, be very, very careful on Monday, and I'll probably reiterate this on my morning video on Monday, um, <laughs> how you go along this market. Definitely need some time to rest in here and uh, look for a breakout either intraday or be, again, very careful how you go along on a week uh, daily chart. So good stuff. It's been great working with everybody this week. It's been a pretty crazy busy week, but uh, we're coming out at the end of it, looking down the barrel of a weekend, and I hope you all have a great one, and we'll be talking to you soon.